nutrition in plants nutrition the process by which an organism takes food and utilizes it is called nutrition need of nutrition organisms need energy to perform activities the energy is supplied by the nutrient organism need various raw materials for growth and repair these raw materials are provided by nutrients nutrients materials which provide nutrition to organisms are called nutrients carbohydrates proteins and fat are the main nutrients and are called macronutrients minerals and vitamins are required in small amount and hence are called micronutrients plants make their own food themselves but animals can't hence animals depend on depends directly on or indirectly on the plants mode of nutrition in plants autotrophic nutrition auto means self and trophs means nourishment plants are called autotrophs because they make their food themselves the making of food for themselves is called autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition in is found in green plants and in small bacteria heterotrophic nutrition the word hetero means other and trophs means nourishment animals can't make their own food they depend for food upon plants therefore nourish and uh, nutrition in animals is called heterotrophic nutrition animals are known as heterotrophs saprotrophic nutrition the uptake of nutrition by organisms from dead and decaying matter in the form of solution is called saprotrophic nutrition organisms which use saprotrophic mode of nutrition are called saprotrophs for example fungi and mushroom photosynthesis the process by which green plants prepare their food is called photosynthesis during this process the solar energy converted into chemical energy and carbohydrates are formed green leaves are in the main site of photosynthesis the green portion of the plant contain pigment called chloroplast which contains chlorophyll how the nutrients are replenished in the soil plants absorb nutrients from the soil so the nutrient in the soil decreases so farmers add manure and fertilizer to the soil to increase this nutrient in the soil bacterium called rhizobium lives in the roots of legume plant like gram peas etc convert nitrogen from air and gives it to the plants the process of photosynthesis can be represented as point 1 the process of photosynthesis take place in green leaves of the plant point 2 the food is prepared by the green leaves of the plant in the form of simple sugar called glucose point 3 extra glucose is changed into another food called starch this starch is stored in the leaves of the plants point 4 green plants convert sunlight energy into chemical energy by making carbohydrates photosynthesis take place in leaf sunlight is obtained from sun water is ob- absorbed by roots and transported to the leaves carbon dioxide is taken from the air through small pores in the leaves called stomata stomata small pores present in the lower surface of the leaves from which carbon dioxide is taken in and these are surrounded by gut cells other modes of nutrition parasitic plants there are some plants which don't have chlorophyll like humans and animals they also depend on food produced by other plants insectivorous plant there are few few plants which can trap and digest insects such plants may be green or some other color example pitcher plant and sundew symbolizes some organisms live together and share both shelter and nutrients their relationship is called symbolizes for example certain fungi live inside the roots of plants the plants provide water and certain nutrients example lichen rhizobium a bacteria that can take atmospheric nitrogen and convert it into a usable form 
but rhizobium cannot make its own food so it often lives in the roots of gram peas moong beans and other legumes and provide them with nitrogen stomata activity 1 aim to show that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis material required two potted plants of same kind materials for test of starch in the leaf procedure take two potted plants keep one in sunlight and other in dark room for 2 to 3 days then take a leaf from the both plants and test for the presence of starch observation the leaf kept in the sunlight turns blue black but the leaf kept in the dark room does not turns blue black conclusion this shows that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis activity 2 aim growth and observation of fungi material required a bread and water procedure 1 take a piece of bread and moisten it with water leave it the moisten warm and place for 2 to 3 days observation fluffy patches appeared on the piece of bread on seeing under microscope cotton like threads are seen spread on the piece of bread conclusion this shows the presence of fungi on the piece of bread exercise question number 1 why do organisms take food answer organisms need food for one get energy to work two build body three repair damage in the body four maintain functions of the body question number 2 distinguish between a parasite and saprotroph parasite 1 parasites take nutrition from living organisms saprotrophs 1 saprotrophs take nutrition from dead and decaying organisms parasite lives in lives on host saprotrophs they live on dead and decaying stuff question number 3 how would you test the presence of starch in leaf answer when iodine comes in contact with starch a dark blue color appears by dropping iodine solution on the leaves we can check the presence of starch question number 4 give a brief description in of the process of photosynthesis of food in green plants answer in plant synthesis of food occur by the process called photosynthesis during photosynthesis chlorophyll containing cell of the leaves uses carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbohydrates in the presence of sunlight question number 5 choose the correct options from the following which which part of the plant take carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis option number 1 root hairs option number 2 stomata option number 3 leaf veins answer stomata question number 3 why do the farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large greenhouse what are advantages to the farmers answer farmers grow fruits and vegetables inside large greenhouse to maintain to and provide suitable temperature for their growth farmers also use greenhouse to save their crops from extreme cold and provide suitable condition for their better growth carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight give rise to carbohydrates and oxygen